In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus CaCl2. This is potassium carbonate plus calcium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the equation here. This is called the molecular equation. We have two potassium atoms and just one here. Let's put a two here, balances the potassium, and that balances the chlorine atoms. The calcium, same. We have a carbonate here, a carbonate here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states. Carbonates in general, they're insoluble. They don't dissolve in water, except for carbonates with elements in group one. Potassium is in group one, so this is gonna be soluble. And we write AQ. That means it's aqueous. Since it's soluble, it dissolves in water. It splits apart into its ions. Chlorides are in general soluble, so we're gonna put an AQ as well after that. Again, another chloride and a group one metal, so that's gonna be soluble. And then we said carbonates in general are not soluble. And in this case, calcium carbonate, calcium is not in group one. So this is insoluble. That means it won't dissolve. It'll be a solid. It'll actually be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two compounds react. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So calcium group one, that's one plus, and the carbonate ion, it's always two minus. So we have K plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. And I have this little subscript of two. That means I have two of them. So I put two in front plus the carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. Calcium is in group two on the periodic table, two plus. Chlorine, that's always one minus. So we have calcium two plus, the calcium ion, plus the chloride ion. Subscript of two means we have two chloride ions. So these are the reactants. In the products, we said this was plus and minus, we have two potassium ions, and then we have two of the chloride ions. And then the calcium carbonate, we said that is a solid. It sinks to the bottom of the test tube when the reaction takes place, precipitate. With net ionic equations, we don't split these up. They aren't split up in the test tube, so we don't split this up. We just write calcium carbonate. And this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These appear on both sides of our complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I have two potassium ions here, and then in the products, two potassium ions. I'm just gonna cross those out. I have two chloride ions here, and then in the products, two of those cross them out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation. We have the carbonate ion, calcium ion, and then solid calcium carbonate. Let me clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have the balanced net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus CaCl2. So this is our net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus calcium chloride. One thing you'll see is that the calcium often is put first and the carbonate is second. It doesn't really matter, but I guess it looks a little nicer. So that is the balanced net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus CaCl2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.